What's going on, guys? Welcome to the dawn of day seven. This is episode seven of my season four of Timber and Stone. Last I left you, we had an influx of skeletons coming, and it was making through the night. I'm coming in a little early here, as you can see. That's because we have skeletons coming. Now, I'm not going to show you these first two. These two came in. These are the guys from over here, the aggro that came in. Joe, as you can see right here, whacking on the training dummies. He's gotten up. He's about to halfway through 11, doing really well. Uh, he just took him out, no problem. And so, you know, it was really dark, so I did, I'm just not going to show that to you. No migraine yet, which is kind of disappointing. I'm wondering, though, but look at this. My food is really, really low. Um, I'm going to have to probably... Get rid of some of this stuff for now and let them let them start focusing on um, the food <laughs> uh, because I just can't I can't I'm run out of food I'm gonna starve. Uh, but what we're gonna probably do now is I have let's see here I have I'm giving you a rundown real quick. CPR is here he's making those stone tongs in an effort to hopefully get his blacksmithing up. Because then I have him making a copper spear to help Juets out a little bit. Hopefully he won't fail on that a ton. I was making some arrows to raise up carpentry. Yep, so... Yeah, let's just think about it. So he's going to do that. Juets can probably handle these guys coming through the door. As long as they don't come through in like a huge, huge number. He's already out going out and getting them. Bloodthirsty animal. Yep, go get the other guy. Take them all out, my friend, as long as you're decently up. The problem is, here's the thing. I don't really want to kill all the skeletons. Uh, we talked about this in Season 3. Actually, go back and train. I'm not going to kill them all, because they actually give me a nice buffer. You know, these guys hanging out here. It's already happened over here. Uh, let me see if I can show you. I don't know where it is. Yeah, right here. There was a goblin archer. Remember, he was patrolling? Well, he got taken out by the skeletons. And so they offer a kind of a sentry point for me. Now, it's a little worrisome. You know, they are right here. I have a wide open door there. I actually, you know what? I should probably just throw, slap a door in here, shouldn't I? Why not, right? Wooden iron, one iron ingot. Uh, fence gate, yeah, that's not going to do it. Six iron. I don't have brick anyway. What do we got? Plank, we got... I don't want to put one of those in just yet. So I'm going to put one of these in for now. It's ironing it. We're just going to put in a solid wood door. The idea here is just to slow them down. That That's all this is. Uh, where is Hero? He's around here somewhere. There you are, buddy. Go play Carpenter real quick. Get those. Now, one thing else I'm going to have to take care of. There you go. You see that guy walking away, apparently. I'm not sure why. He came walking out of the water, but you can see. He came up and hit my wall, so it's a very good thing I did that. I know you guys probably thought I was a little crazy, a little paranoid, but that's why. And I wouldn't have necessarily seen him. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I have Hero and these guys going. They're all sleeping in the hall. I don't like this. I like the hall deeper than if that's going to be the case. But the idea here is you know, I have some archery training dummies over here. I forget who I had training it. Uh, don't remember now. Uh, but, you know, I, I like to hang out and let Juets sit here. I still got tons of rope. I got tons of flax. And just train. And he's up, like I said, he's probably going to hit 12 pretty, yeah, he's going to hit 12 right here. I probably actually won't train him on dummies much longer because it just doesn't, it takes too many dummies to, to advance. And he's more than capable of, of killing these, these monsters now and he'll level up that way. Um, and I'll let another guy then come along, you know, even if his, even if his job isn't going to be to be an infantryman. I like to have backups. Um, yeah, you're going to put that in. That's great. That'll just slow them down a little. That's that's the idea there. Go back to wood shopping. Um, I need some food, though. And that that's a problem. So, Jouette's... Yeah. I might have to send you out for food, which is not really something I want to do. So, let's see. Um, always keep food ladder pole arm. All right, so I can put one of those on. Sword. Always keep that on me. Right now, all I have is a helm, right? Tunic, plate, just shield, boots, hammer. Uh, I don't see for like... Right, hold on a second. Let's see. What's he wearing? He wears a... Coif, right? Is that what he has on him? Coif, yep. Uh, but I don't see them... I see chain helm. I don't see anything. So I'd like him to keep that on him. And a hunting knife I can kind of keep on him too. 
Because, yeah, I'm going to let him start going out and go and get some berries. Because I need some food, I need some migrants. But if he can keep his stuff on him... So let's do this. Let's, let's experiment with this today, if we will. Once he changes, goes and gets his equipment. Now, if, in case you're wondering what the heck this is, this is where I'm going to put the archery targets in here so that no stray arrows hit anybody. And then the archer can also kind of sit here right by the door and see people coming through. That is the thinking there. Again, I love these guys standing here. They can't get through. You know, they would have long since gotten through if that were the case. Uh, they can't get through. There is a little weak spot over here that they can get down. I have to mine out. I have it set up. We'll see what happens. Wait and hold on one idle. Alright, so let him... Whoa, is he really going foraging with a sword? That is cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, and I do, I do have increased focus on the farm. Wolf has killed a chicken. Where are you wolves? You're down there. Okay. So I'm just going to have to keep an eye on Jouettes. I really don't want to lose him. <laughs> but I have Fulfi. Where's Fulfi? There he is. He's training archery, but I'll also have him do some um, training dummies over here. Let's see. What have we made over here? Stone Tom. So how is he doing? And, all right. So if you can think seven, that'd be great. I would end up having to bring the archer over here just to take care of him. He kind of makes me nervous sitting over there like that. What are you doing over there, bud? Yeah, I just the, the miner was back over here mining. I don't like this guy shooting with the miner behind him. Um, yeah, so just gather up some food for me. I could use that. I don't want to starve. I would like to get some migrants. That's the archer. I think that's a problem. Like I said, I was. I think I'm. I think I have a migrant here, like queued up. Uh, but I, I've, I've dipped. I was up at 200, and I dipped down to zero. That was kind of an error on my part. Shouldn't have let it get that low. All right. So are you? I don't think there's anything on skeletons anyway. But level six archer. That's good. Train that up. I'd like to keep the flax coming in. 200 flax. That's pretty good. And especially as the the archer rating, um, I'm sorry, the tailor rating is going to come off. I'm not going to fail on making rope as often. So let's see, let's see how this goes here. It's actually pretty uh, skeletal infantry. 11, seven, level 7 blacksmith. That's good. He's getting the sheep. And now I want to see what happens here. Oh, he's going back, it looks like. Okay. All right, that's fine. Emptying inventory. Yep, so he's going to go back. Keep an eye on this guy. He's out. Just taking a little swim. His trees are getting cleared. I have this whole nest of trees over here to get done. What are you doing? Eating again? Eating. Good lord. Uh, that's got to be miscellaneous supplies, I guess. So let's just add another one of them. I don't know if that's going to do it for them. If they'll, if they'll like go there. Uh, resource crate. We're just going to put one, put one right up here. Yeah, right there's fine. Let's see, that's what happens. And he loses his he loses the, the designation on the archer target, which is a problem. So we're we're kind of getting there. We've got a real rudimentary uh, thing going on. Uh, gotta get my wood up. Gotta get my food up. There you go. That's a, wow. That's actually a really good job by Jewettes. Wow. I didn't know his foragers brought that much in. You know what I could do too, which actually is a little little dangerous now. I was gonna say I could start a fisherman, which would be a lot, probably a lot safer than a forager, wouldn't it? Mm, yeah, but I don't know exactly how that would work. And and I do like, what the heck was that? That's something. Oh, the farmer. I thought I heard something weird. Um, I like the idea of him going out, like I said, and kind of uh, fishing up the the. the uh, oh, let's see here. Let's make sure he's got what I want him to have. He's got a broadsword and a hunting knife. I like the idea of him fishing up the spiders, if that's what, ha if that's, you know, he comes across them, because that's, you know, the, the one thing I'm fearing, even more than necromancers for sure, is the matriarch. You know, if I get a matriarch, um, I'm pretty much in big trouble, because they one-shot those doors, so it would just kick the door in and, and just kill everybody in my establishment at this point right now. I, if I could, if I could dig the dirt up before he got here, I'd have a chance. But that's really about the only way I would have a chance. Okay, so what was I doing? Armor. Let's just pause because I don't want anybody getting hit. Iron, iron, iron chain coif. That's fine. So I want to get something like a shirt. So I've got some copper. Get an iron shirt. More 
more defense than iron, bronze. So let's see, can we make some bronze? What do we got here? We can make some bronze. Let's let's try f let's try five right now. I'll we'll move to the top. We're gonna monitor how he does with that. I don't know if he's if that's like way out of his league or what. Wherever he is, because of course that guy's glitched. Oh, you're sleeping now. Okay, sleepy, sleepy. You're not gonna go right now though. Uh, professions blacksmith. I just want to see what he can do. If he can do it, then I'll, I'll let him go back to sleep. That's fine. But uh, I want to make sure that the archer is there. Get those resources. I don't think it's going to do anything. Let's see. Oh, that's sweet. You actually use some tongs, too, because I have too many of those. Wolf's we'll killed the chicken. I want to check out where that is, actually. End of my road. Where's Jewett's? He was coming back, was he not? Looks like we got a food uptick, so he must come back out. Right, let's just see what he does here with the the bronze. It looks like he made it. Okay, so we got bronze. I can make a bronze chest, theoretically. We'll see. I don't know. But it looks like he's able to make bronze. That's pretty good. Just heard a goblin for sure. Now, goblins have to be worried, especially them damn ones on the horses. Uh, the horses, though. The wolves. They will ride right up on me very quickly. And the problem with those is or you got to kill them twice. you got to kill a wolf. All right, there's one archer there. So this is why I want to keep you know, oh, uh, hold a camp over here. Okay, so i got to watch it because they're going to pop there. But that's okay because I have these skeletons. Yes, yeah, so i got some skeletons here. Hopefully, yeah, i got a couple right here. Beautiful. If those goblins want to come get me, they're going to have to come through those skeletons now. That, that's, that's exactly why I don't want to thin them out. So, Okay. So we got skeletal infantry. He's here. We're just gonna designate all this because eventually this is all gonna be. I'm eventually making this all one level anyway. Okay. So where are my fighters at? Where is Fulfi, my man? I don't want him to come in, but he might. He might pick up on the road now and be able to come in. We'll see. Again, this just kind of tells me how my system is working here. I can't believe... Oh, I got 80 food now. Hopefully when Joet's dumps, he'll dump over 100. I, I'm just curious as an experiment. If... A wolf has been spotted by Benedict. Here we go. See? Oh, all right. So Benedict is... Oh, he's going to be a dead man. Run, Benedict. Run. I don't think he's going to make it. I think he's going to get run down. The wolves are running... Oh, maybe... The wolves didn't see. Oh, the wolves are going to be after him. All right, so hold on. I'm not going to be able to get to him. All right, Benedict's a dead man. Shoot. Our first migrant. All right, I don't want him. Oh, man, you're wasting arrows. Are you coming back for real? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put you on infantryman. I don't even care if I lose that... Uh... Kite him. Alright, let him kill the door then. Oh, okay. Did he, did he break it? I believe he did. Okay, so let's just build another one. That's fine. That the whole point was to... Uh, Fofi, go back and keep training. I, I should train him up in some infantry next too. That's gonna be a little more important, especially if I'm yeah. You know what? If I'm sending Juets back, actually I don't even know. If... Wow, Benedict! Oh man, you're gonna be dead. Get out here! Shoot. See what happens. Ah, he almost made it too. 
Darn it, Benedict, you almost made it. it looks like the coast is relatively clear. Wow, my hero is just doing some trees up, man. It's over there, spotted by the skeletons. I, I don't want to track the skeletons too much. Like I said, a lot of skeletons over here, which is great. But yeah, see, look at these guys. Look at these a-holes. Uh, wow, a whole bunch of them. Did they kill all the wolves? Mm, doesn't look like it. But actually, they do look dead, right? They don't look like they're sleeping. wonder who killed them. Oh, look at the spiders. I gotta get out here. Shoot. Why would they do that to me? Dude, I can't go all the way out there and kill all that stuff. We're gonna have to, I think, though. As soon as he wakes up. I can't, I can't, I can't get a matriarch at this point. I guess I could break the bridge, but he might shoot across it, too, for all I know. Alright, so you're here. Yep, come over here. Hey, I should have had you do that, actually. I should have had you be a carpenter. Combat using training dummies. You, I want you to be a carpenter real quick. Put that door in. Something to just slow him down. That's all I have that door for. There we go. Skeleton has killed the goblin. Excellent. Keep going that way. Kill all these little jerks. Look at how four spiders. Are. I've got to go over there. And a wolf. I don't know if these wolves are dead or alive, though. If I don't kill them, sometimes it won't show them dead. See? Okay, the goblin corpse. Yes, these are all dead. Awesome. I might be able to loop around. That's what I'm going to try. As soon as, as soon as Juets has enough energy, that's what we're trying. Because I, I have to kill those spiders. Cannot have them just chilling out. Right, you're gonna go that way, that's fine. I think you should be okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, you're gonna build that. Hopefully then you'll build the door. <sighs> I just want something to slow them down. So they can't just run, especially like a, a wolf or something. They can't just run right in. I, I should build this a little differently. We will figure that out. A couple more people first. That guy's just hanging out. Man, look at all these skeletons here. It's pretty funny. I'm going to speed this up because I don't want this drag too long. So, yeah, I think... Man, I don't want to wait too long. That's four spiders just there. I'm hoping they might be glitched, actually, but I don't think... Oh, man, look at... Look at all right, this actually might be good, though. Alright, here's the problem. These spiders might be glitched. Now how... How are they not attacking? Hopefully these guys, these guys will take out the goblins. Because uh, Skeletons are much more easier to deal with. They're slower, they're dumber. Uh, you know, you can outrun them, you can kite them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, here we go. Awesome. Guy was trucking. Our first immigrant. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I will actually... I'm going to throw him in the farm. For now. Our merchant has arrived at the farm. That's not a merchant, but we will accept him. Farmer, awesome. Farmer, forager, mace... Ah, oh, you know, I should make him a forager, really. Or a fisherman. Food, bronze, hoe, cotton... Cotton seed! Yes! I can make some beds. Accept that. Get on that farm... Right, as soon as he dumps it off, I'm going to make a small little... See, this you're pissing me off. You go eat, and then you never come back. Now, oh, I do have a merchant. A legit merchant coming. Awesome. Where is my man? Get over here. Let's see what we got. Now, I mean, we got cotton. What we really need now is... All we need now is wheat. All right, you gave me cotton. Where, where did it go? Totally what it said, didn't it? Don't mess with me. All right, it's on your person, so you gotta you gotta farm up. That's fine. Excellent. Good times. Good times. 
first migrant at 75-ish health, something like that. Okay. So it didn't have to ding 100, because we did actually have the other guy that tried to. So yeah, it didn't have to hit 100. Hoping to get another one pretty soon. It says, as soon as... Okay. Wheat. Oh, no. I thought it was wheat seeds. It's just wheat. I'll, I'll take anything for raw stone, though. That's for sure. Soon as Juets grows up, uh, wakes up. Gather those resources for sure. <laughs> Skeleton has killed the goblin. That's very good. That's what I want to see. Cotton. Nah. <laughs> I already had the seeds. It's okay, but I'll take some and I'll get me a bed quicker. Yes, get in here. Wait. I gotta go kill those skeletons. So, are those. Man, why? Are I, I wonder why. So many are popping big time. Cotton, more cotton. Uh, see, I got cotton seeds, and I'm no rushing to bed. I don't want to give up food. I need that food. Is he going to get one more trade out of him? So much flax fiber. Holy smokes. Looks like we might get one more trade. We'll see. Good day, though. Good good build back up. We, we've got to get those spiders, though, because we cannot... Trying to think of matriarch, he could easily find his way. And I do have some feathers. I just jumped to some fireworks. It's actually July 3rd right now as I'm recording this, so I'm sure I'm gonna start to hear some stuff. Actually, it's pretty late. Rope for raw stone. Yes, I will certainly do that. That's probably the last trade I would think. And we are going to get you. Maybe you're gonna get another one, huh? Now we don't have any cotton seed yet. That guy's gotta fill up and then go dump his inventory and all that stuff. So. I'm okay. I mean, we have a. I, if we must. I wonder if we're gonna. Get a, we must be getting a necromancer soon. Would be my guess. If we do, we're kind of in trouble, to be honest with you. Because that's a lot of skellies to, that would quickly join right up on them. Yeah, but I, I'm gonna have to try to do like a stealth Rambo mission. Wood for rope. Uh. No. I keep the rope. Tons of training dummies. Okay. Good job, man. Actually, I don't know that I really got anything crazy out of them, but we did get cotton seed from the other guy, and that's very good. That'll help me make some beds, help those guys heal up. So I'm excited about that. Tilled land, why is this tilled? Four, it looks like four seeds there, okay. Don't need much of it, just enough to make beds. That's all I need out of cotton. And they can rejuvenate faster, which is a better productivity. I hate that they come from the longest way. Why wouldn't they come from here, right? The quicker shot in. All right, so we're gonna have this guy here. That's how you doing over here, man? You waking up yet? Not yet. Skeleton entry spotted by Fulfi. How are you? Uh, infantry of four. That's fine. Yeah, go get him. Go get him, tiger. Fulfi, what do you got? Yeah, I love that extra reach. Very nice. Only kill them when we have to. Starting to slowly get control here, guys. I, th I think. I'm just scared of those spiders, man. Scared of those spiders. So there you go. That's pretty cool. We've got some food production going up. I I've actually stopped some flax. I don't want to go too crazy on the flax. So I've, I've cut about half of it because I want to focus on food. Uh, we're doing pretty good. Infantry. Yep. Uh, we got some cotton here. We'll be able to make some beds. Our fort, little city here, is, is building well. We got tons of flax fiber. Just got to make that into rope. That I'll have him do that after he makes all these guys. Because he's going to build all these before he even runs out of rope. Um, yeah. He did go and dig that, right? He dug this little spot. Yep, so they can't get down there anymore. Very good. Um, yeah, so once tomorrow in the morning when he wakes up, we're gonna go do a stealth ninja mission. Look at all these skeletons that are coming. 
Hopefully they can thin out a lot of this crap. I gotta kill those spiders. And I'm gonna just kinda come around over this way. Skirt around. Try to sneak in. I, you know, I'll pick off some of the others, but the, the priority target is to get those spiders out of here. For those who don't know, uh, and at least last I knew, the way matriarchs spawn is you have a certain number of baby spiders on your map. I think it's not many. It's like six or something. Maybe eight? Uh, tell me in the comments if one of you guys knows definitively. Um, yeah, so if, I've, if I let those kind of stay, eventually those mini spiders are going to build up. Once you hit that threshold, let's just say it's eight baby spiders. Now you have a percentage chance every day, I think, or every, you know, spawn regen to get a matriarch. And matriarchs are bad, bad news for a little settlement like this, that's for sure. And uh, something we really would like to avoid, uh, to, to say the least. Let me take a quick look here, what we have for armor. Not up. Oh, we got a iron chain coif. Yeah, but uh, he's got something else. I'll have, I'll have him switch over. Right, he's got a chance. Yeah. So let's see what we can make for armor. Let's see. Do I have a steel coat? I don't need that. I would like to get something for his chest, obviously. Copper, steel, iron. I mean, bronze is the only chance. I, if he's not making the bronze chain shirt, I don't see him making. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't need. Yeah, as soon as he makes one, I'm not gonna have him make another one. And then I'll make some kind of boots. Okay, so yeah, that's you there. You're making the targets. You know what? Go blacksmith real quick though. So you guys can see that before we go. Six infantry, twelve farmer, five engineer. Very nice, we're getting there. We got actually some military. You guys can see, if you, if you paid attention watching season three and season four, I've, I've definitely differentiated. I think uh, my instinct to turtle up is still very strong. <laughs> I won't pretend. All right, let's go in here. Yeah, I don't really want you to do that. Right, yeah, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna have you go back to Archer for a minute, because I want you to give up all your good equipment. <laughs> I want you to go get the other equipment. Skeleton killed the goblin. Very good. He's going to kill that one too. I guess he's not. That guy is beelining. Go get him. Go get him. Kill all these goblins for me. Awesome. You see, you didn't know there was diplomacy in this game, did you guys? My allies, the skeletons. Stand and guard along my castle. Now, if a necromancer comes, I'm kind of I'm, I'm in trouble. Because, <laughs> A, I have no defenses against a necro. Which, I mean, there's really not much you could destroy. And, okay, so you might as well come here and practice. Use up those dummies. You then go get, did you get the good stuff? You got the good stuff. This, uh, get rid of that. Get the good armor. Bronze t shirt, he made it. Oh, God. How many did he make? Of course, I look away. So, I made two. That's good. So now he's got some armor. He's got a... Uh, yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're happy now. So you might as well train up, because I'm not going to send you out at night time. I don't think, anyway. Taking a look out here. He just killed another one. All right. No, I, I'm going to wait until morning, hopefully. Still get out there before spawn time, but yeah. That's, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Even getting dark. You can see we're getting there. We got some cotton. That cotton's getting built. Built. Grown. F more of a shift towards food now that we got the hall open. You can see what putting a hall in does for skeletons. Good lord, you get a ton of them. Not always a bad thing. I was getting a lot of goblins anyway, so I'd rather have more skeletons and goblins, and skeletons help kind of keep your goblin population down, your wolf population down, um, which is great. Uh, you know, it, it sounds kind of crazy. But, like, over here, and, you know, it looks like I should be worried about this side of my... I'm not, though. Like, I don't feel like anything's going to get through these guys and, and really give me much of a threat. Uh, the big thing is a necromancer, uh, especially right now. Like, if a, if a necromancer come, I came, I wouldn't be able to kind of go out and one of you want them as infantry, which it would be a problem, which is what I like to do, kind of you know, kind of dodge the fireballs and things and, and take the guy out with infantry, save and conserve my arrows... I couldn't do that, um, but 
I could probably arch him or you know snipe him with archery pretty quickly and easily. So that's gonna do it for episode seven, end of the day seven. Uh, we're getting productive. We're getting there. Uh, Got to build up a little more military presence and some food and get some migrants, and then we can start really. The, the big step for building is gonna be mining this out more, and so I can get a start getting the wall. And then I can start doing some towers and some bridges and, and fortifying defenses. And then from there, once we have the wall built, we will then turn our attention onto the building, the city. But hope you guys are enjoying it. Give me feedback in the comments like always. And I will talk to you soon, guys. Take care.